10 days until Christmas. Good morning. Actually, I don't know if it's still the morning to be honest. It's maybe like 11.30 or 12. I've been playing Animal Crossing all morning. Henry saw a rat again last night in his apartment. He has spent the night in the morning contacting all the necessary individuals. Now we are walking to everybody's favorite place, the Galaxy Diner. Honestly, great vibes and we're hungry. And we're gonna have a lazy day probably because it's supposed to rain all day. I'm wearing PJs, basically. Back at Henry's and I'm ready to game, baby! I'm literally this close to snapping and buying a Switch Lite. For like 200 bucks, which not the smartest thing to purchase during a two month hiatus from working, but like, it would be so much fun! Also, I don't know how much the Animal Crossing game itself costs. So in all in all, $60? So all in all, I would be spending $300, which is a big investment. So maybe I convince Henry to pay for part of it as my Christmas present. I'm gonna game, gamer girl. Okay, it's dark outside now. We have been incredibly lazy today, to say the least, because it's now- So much Animal Crossing. Six. I'm gonna die. 6 p.m. What? You encouraged me to play it. I know. You move the stuff. It's 6 p.m. And I played Animal Crossing for a few more hours. Lots of hours. Henry got caught up on the vlogs. And then Henry filmed a self-tape while I read my book. And now we've spent a considerable amount of time trying to choose where what we're gonna eat. And we've decided on a pasta restaurant, which we have previously gone to as kind of like a fancy occasion. Is that really fancy? Or maybe some people think it is. But I am going dressed like this. I look like I'm wearing pajamas. I just want pasta. I have a question for you, vlog world. What do you call the end of bread? No, you can't. You can't add that in there. Why not? You have to okay, have what do you call the end of bread? I'll reveal what we call it tomorrow. Yeah. Guess what I got? A snickerdoodle! We're doing face masks now. It's been a while. We're back. Henry's been on the switch. I cut off on Gossip Girl. We've just been having like chill time and it's been very nice. Henry's rinsing off his face mask now. I just got out of the shower and put mine on. A great chill night. This is actually our last night that we get to spend together because we're both going back for Christmas. He leaves on Saturday, but tomorrow night I am going out with my friend Kai. He's gonna get to spend tomorrow night with his BFF Brennan and I'll be with my friend Kai. So this is our last night together. And honestly, he's emotionally exhausted from the rats. It's been a rainy, lazy day all day, so face masks it is, baby. I put a very thin layer, so it just kind of looks like I'm extremely white. Nine days until Christmas. Hi everyone. I have been a woman on a vengeful mission today because good old Stanford, my roommate's cat, has been climbing on the counters and the stove and the refrigerator in the cabinets while I've been gone. There's cat hair everywhere. It's on the stove, it's on the counters, and it's vile. And I can't take it anymore. I just wiped down all of the counters, but now I placed tin foil on all of the counters so that when he jumps up, it scares him. And I'm very excited. I cannot live with cat hair on my cooking surface. It's just actually disgusting having cat hair in all of your food. I'm also just like, on an anger rampage because I've been doing nothing for the last multiple days and feel bad about myself and mad at myself and I'm hungry, I haven't eaten very much today. It's almost two, I can't take it anymore, so I'm not gonna. And when this man tries to get up there, he's gonna rue the day. He messed with Cassie Balsam. Edited the vlog, now we're now in quesadilla mode, trying to eat up the things that I opened that will perish before I leave Monday. Lots of quesadillas it is. <laughs> And I'm gonna read my book. Hi, I'm Cassie. And welcome to Get Ready With Me, Going Out Edition. I don't really go out much and I'm not sure what I'm doing. Here's the deal. I turned 21 about seven months before COVID. When I was studying away in London, I would go out with my friends occasionally, winter, spring 2019. I went to school in a very suburban city, Tacoma, Washington. It's not really a place where people go out. I would go to bars and stuff sometimes, but it's very different vibe. So then COVID happens, and during COVID, my housemates and I would get dressed up, but we're just in our house dancing in our living room. So you don't have to think about things like the cold and how long it's gonna take you to get somewhere, where to put your stuff because women's clothes don't have pockets or like what people your age wear to go out. So I'm encountering all those things now as a 24 year old and I'm confused. I'm about to go out with my friends kind of destiny, very excited. We're just gonna go 
dancing. This is where we're at now. Uh, the gems. Hello, vlog squad. Emmy has kindly donated her top to the Cassie Paulson cause. These are my pants. Cleansing my menstrual cup in this wine glass. Oh yes, baby. What if I accidentally took a drink of this? <laughs> that would be vile. <laughs> Just blood tea. This is the look. Woo, gems galore, baby. So I messaged the bar we're gonna go to on Instagram to ask if they have a coat check and they said they do not. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do about that yet. Do I wear a jacket? to Destiny's where we're all meeting and then leave it there and then go get it from her tomorrow. I feel like I can't go all the way to Brooklyn without a coat, even though I'm gonna be on the subway. That's just like not okay. Emmy lent me this top, so cute, and this bag. She said this top is from Urban Outfitters. I don't know about the bag, but both very adorable. I feel now inspired to buy some more going out apparel and just more apparel in general. As I've been talking about for months, I feel like I need to revamp my wardrobe. Coming in 2023, Cassie's new style. But for now, I borrow from my 20-year-old roommate. Let's go, Kai! Woo! First semester Especially of law Kai. school down, baby. Woo! Yay. And we got McDonald's. Hee hee hee. This bag of my shoes. <laughs> Our longing to stray. No, I didn't know it was That's stray. That's kind of iconic. I could do a New York wander. I know it's cold, New but... York, New York. Queens. Queens. Um, we had a wild night. I'm not gonna maybe say what happened. We did go dancing at a place with pretty bad music. We were maybe there for 20 minutes. So we left and we just been walking around. So now it's 110, maybe 111 by now. I'm going home. Jumps have stayed on, which I'm very pleased with. Honestly, my makeup looks pretty intact. XOXO, gossip girl. Ending the vlog at 2 10 though it's technically sunday now had so much fun with my pals i'm about to drink some water and absolutely crash thank you so much for watching go do something that makes you happy today because you deserve it and i'll 